What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So the Alpha 2 of the Cosmic DE has officially released as of today, which is the 26th of September. Now we're gonna be going over this as much as possible and trying to go over as well, much as possible, as much as we can really go over. You know what I mean? So I have my Bluetooth headphones beside me to be able to really go over the first thing, which is the power and the battery. Uh, as you can see, backend not found. We would need to install multiple different things to be able to get this done. So let me do that real quick. All right, so we installed one thing at least, and we can do high power performance power now in here. Uh, but we want to go to Bluetooth first, and it is on. Supposedly, is this on or off? That's on. Okay. What does it tell me? So we're gonna turn on my headphones in pairing mode because. That is the device I want to choose. There they are. So we're going to connect them. Then we're going to go back to power and battery. And it shows my connected device and how much battery I have left. Which is pretty cool. And I'm guessing it can also do this for controllers as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my DS5 controller and we're going to pair this. So I'm going to go back to Bluetooth and DualSense, it's connected, or it's disconnecting, I don't know why it's connecting, disconnecting, but power and battery, oh, now it's connected, so power and battery, it doesn't have it, which is, okay, that's understandable, I was hoping for more information on this, but now we have power and battery settings where it shows that your connected device, it's power, as long as it gives it back, I guess, and I guess it doesn't for that, which is disappointing. But moving on, man, are we are we bugged? One second, uh, it's not responding. I hate when it does this. Yeah, we have everything here that we need. And... All right, let's get back to this video because it's very apparent that uh, Cosmic DE hates any type of Chromium browser. I just went through trying Edge, Brave, uh, and everything else under the sun to try to get this to work. Firefox seems to do fine, so we're gonna stick with that. We just oh, went over settings page with power and battery and I showed you Bluetooth as well. So the next thing I need to show you is sound. As you can see, we now have the ability to change sound, which is absolutely great but uh, it's not doing my Ascentium Plus's justice, which means I don't have the APX uh, stuff currently installed, which is kind of disappointing. I, I believe I had that pinned somewhere, but I'll have to figure that out later. Again, that's not my max uh, form when it comes to, you know, my headphones. This is all so disappointing. No, it's not. I like the fact that it has profiles. It's beautiful. I'm just saying. Damn it, Fedora. Just ship APX HD. It's not going to kill you. So the sound settings have been reworked, so you're able to choose what you want. Uh, that's my graphics card. That's my motherboard. And that's my inline. Uh, that's where I have my good headphones at. So we're going to switch that over. This is my microphone and so on. And as you can see, the little OSD popped up. And the next thing, the, the next thing that we have is networking and wireless. As you can see, we now have all of that popping up, which is really great. You can see your wireless adapter and you can deal with its settings if you need to, which is awesome. If we head into displays and go down, the issue with my monitor, my middle one, it will not go to 165 hertz unless I mess with it, which is disappointing. But the new thing here is the X11 Windows System Application Scaling. So this actually fixes a lot of bugs with gaming, which is very, very nice. So yeah, there's that. Next thing they implemented is date and time. Where the hell is date and time? Date and time is time and language. Date and time, and there you go. 24 hour time, show seconds, so on and so forth. So yeah. Uh, it's pretty nice. You can also turn it off or turn it on. And we can also show the seconds. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So that allows for all sorts of things. Now, if we go to desktop and we click Windows Management, you'll notice there's a whole new section here. 
and basically focus follow cursor and cursor follows focus have been implemented so uh focus follows cursors right there and cursor follows focuses right here so that allows you to deal with different types of focus with different types of application which is nice you also have a delay in milliseconds in case it's not good enough for you and you need to adjust it so moving your mouse across the layout causes the active focus window to switch to whatever windows the cursor overlaps you can also customize the time it takes for the mouse to snap to the new window new follow or sorry cursor follows focus changes the windows focus with the keyboard shortcut or opening a new window causing causing your cursor to immediately snap to the top left corner of that window this makes it easy to find your cursor and save the trouble of having to move it to a new window during the alpha testing we found that some users were using the super key only as a modifier without actions associated with it and alpha 2 users can now disable the super key the windows key from the drop down in the windows management settings there's a drop down there is like there look at this that's cool i'm gonna actually maximize this so you can see this a little better there you go great that's awesome new interface density settings so we're gonna have to go to desktop and appearance for this okay i have it set to halloween of course but other than that uh if we scroll down you'll see comfortable compact spacious we're gonna go with spacious because it takes up the most room and I like it. Which is really nice because well, this is something that will help others, I guess, really fill out everything. Uh, I kind of wish we didn't have to scroll that it would automatically resize sometimes. So an automatic resizing and just like actually using up the full width of the window would be great. I already went over Bluetooth settings, cosmic files. Oof. Not really a fan of cosmic files still. It's got a lot of work ahead of it. But the good news is that building out the cosmic files have been the main focus leading up to Alpha 2's new edition include. So the search bar, new folder, grid, slash view list, sort options have been added to the header. Have they? Oh yeah, there they are. There's the there's the search. Good. And view is here. Grid view, list view, show hidden files. We're gonna stick with grid view. Grid view should automatically be default. And there's a lot of spacing between these icons, which it doesn't look very good. So sort by name, type, last modified, date created, and has been selected by default. So that's really good. Recent has been added to the sidebar viewing for recent follow files. I'm not clicking that. <laughs> Preview in context menu before opening. The preview feature is in complete and active development. So what, the preview feature for, do I just hover? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, is this it? Interesting. But is this, this how we preview? Or do we have to do something else to preview? Because, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's freaking cool. I like that. All right, so right click compress and extract files in the menu has been added. So if we go to downloads, uh, I got a lot of stuff in here. Do I have any zips? All right, whatever, we'll use, we'll use this. There's compress, uh, but I'm not showing extract for this at all, but that's probably because there is none. Hey, where did this one go? There's a zip right here, right here, look at this. Oh, there's extract. It extracted. Great. Uh, browse and connect to network drives. I don't have any, but as you can see, networks are right here. Control D shortcut adds the selected item to the sidebar. Really? Control D. Control D. It's true. It does. Look at that. Yay. That's pretty freaking awesome. File menu is now complete. Includes options to open a new tab, uh, a window, new folder, new file, and there's also rename and a whole bunch of other stuff. So far, they're doing pretty good. Control plus shortcut opens files and app settings. That's pretty cool. Default floating when opened by blah, 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 downloading another app. Separator in sidebar and divide trash networks additionally, which is cool. 
So the cosmic store has gotten speedy, supposedly, but I don't think it works for me. And, oh, it does. That was really slow. That, that wasn't fast at all. I get that it has a lot of things that it has to do, but uh, it's, a, it's a no on that one. Cosmic applets support battery charge threshold or devices supported by System76 power. Improved CPU usage of the audio applet volume sliders. Time now updates on time zone changes. Improved format of display time. All right, so, so far we're getting to the end. Under the hood, Liz Cosmic, Lib Cosmic rebased on ICE 0 0.13. Win it and SCTK updates and changes. Fixes freezes on some X11 and Wayland apps on full screened. Okay, all right. I'm calling bull on that one. We're gonna see this for sure. Also, did they fix this? We got some testing to do now. We're at the end of this, okay? Maximize. Okay. Maximize. I am very disappointed. Yep. Okay, well, I can still do that. And does this minimize it? No. I don't think so. When we right click, no. See, this is still very disappointing. Because it doesn't fully maximize the window. Sure, we're able to deal with what we need to deal with, but that still hasn't been fixed. They optimized rich text reading, which is great. Fixed radio button widget size, fixed padding and spacing of widgets, more reliable fractional scaling of games through Proton. All right, we need to test a game out real quick here. So where's my Steam? I want my Steam. I'm gonna keep saying Steam like this until I find Steam. There it is. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can get a uh, quite obnoxious, you know what I mean? It's not my fault. I'm just, uh, today's a day of many things that are happening. And I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm doing the best that I can in this situation, but hey, I have good days and bad days like everybody. And that's not opening. Great. Well, let's open up. Oh, so you want to work again, do you? Oh, Steam opened. Okay. So, why is there an update for Hogwarts Legacy? Huh? You're doing what now? Why is there an update? Uh, what's happening? Game crashing. Crazy, this game just died. What? Game not starting. What did they do? Alright, so apparently they killed Hogwarts Legacy on PC. All right, so as normal, our normal testing grounds are usually this one uh, and Hogwarts Legacy. But at the moment, Hogwarts Legacy is currently incapable of being used. So we're going to see if we can open up Dead Island 2 and have it work in full screen. I am prepared to die. Are you? Hmm. All right, come on, you can do it. We apparently must, might have to wait for the validation of Hogwarts Legacy to complete. All right, it opened. It did a thing. And I'm also gonna exit this so we don't have to do anything. But I don't know if this is gonna work or not. You gonna do anything? Are you gonna sit there like a lemon? Yeah, I don't think this works. All right, let's close it and open it up again. Actually, we're gonna try Hogwarts Legacy. It's still updating. Why is it updating again? I don't understand what it's doing because I checked and there's no friggin' patch notes, which is weird. All right, let's hit cancel on that. I'm gonna let that do its thing. I don't think we're able to test games at the moment. I will do a follow. I will do a follow up video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Alpha Two of the Cosmic Desktop Environment, which was done on September the 26th, which is the release. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. 
And I will see you guys next time. If you want to help support me, I have a YouTube membership and also have Ko-Fi in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.